Okay, now we're going to learn how to create a Press 1 campaign, or a Message Blast campaign. Uh, this is more referred to as auto-dialing rather than predictive dialing. Now, there's a five-step process to making this happen. The first step is you want to make sure that you have your campaign created and modified to the way that you would have it uh, play a message first when someone picks up the phone rather than just transferring them to an agent. So the way that we do that is we go to our campaign that we've already created, which is 101 here. We go to Detailed View. You want to make sure that the dial ratio is set to 1, 1 to 1. I'll explain that uh, momentarily uh, while we're doing it 1 to 1 as opposed to 3 to 1. Now the hopper level, we want to set that to at least 200 so we can have more than enough leads going into the hopper to be dialed at a time because it, it tends to go through a lot, uh, calls a lot faster than predictive. The next thing we want to make sure about the campaign is that the dial timeout is set to 60 seconds. 60 seconds. The next thing we want to make sure that the campaign VDAT extension is set to 8111. 8111. That is the, the VDAT extension. That is the method of dialing that will play the message first um, and then have the recipient of the call be able to press 1 to get to an agent rather than just transferring them to an agent. And then finally we hit submit. Now one thing to note is you want to make sure that you have your leads list pointed to this campaign. This is the campaign that's sending out the calls. So whatever list that you have to be called you want to make sure that it's pointed to this campaign and not the, uh, the campaign that you're going to be receiving calls from. And I'll explain that in a moment as well. So this is step one of the process, modifying your, or creating or modifying your campaign. Step two is you want to go to where it says advanced options. Under campaigns, advanced options up here. And we want to upload a recorded file, or uh, some people call it the script. Um, this is the message that will be played upon the recipient picking up the phone. So we simply click on Advanced Options, we go to Click to Upload. It'll be the, at the top here. There's a link that says Click to Upload. This works best in Firefox as a browser. Um, words of the wise. The Internet Explorer has known to have some issues with this pop-up here. So, click to Upload. We're going to Browse, and we're going to choose our file. Now one thing to note, this file has to be in the correct format, otherwise it will not be played. Now the format it's got to be is uh, 8,000 hertz, 16-bit, mono. Make sure it's not stereo. It doesn't come out very well with stereo. Mono is what we want to use for telephones. So again, 8,000 hertz, 16-bit, mono. And it's got to be in WAV format, not MP3, but WAV. And you have to make sure that when you save the file, that it's saved with all one word, no spaces, no dashes. You can separate the words with an underscore, but that's it either no spaces or only underscores to uh, separate the words. Once you have it saved correctly, you simply hit browse, you, you select your file, and then you hit send file. And it will actually send the file to uh, from the computer into your dialer. Once it says the file was successfully uploaded up here, you know you're uh, ready to go. So we're going to exit this little pop-up. We're going to refresh the page. I'm going to click Advanced Options again. That'll refresh it, and now we'll see our recorded file in the second drop down menu that you'll see here where it says File Name to be Played on Pickup. So, this is our file. Now, the first uh, drop down menu will be the campaign ID that we we'll want to use for the advanced options of the campaign. So, we're going to choose 101. We choose our file here. The opt in key. You can use any number between 1 and 9. I uh, would probably recommend using 1 because that's the most common number here. Uh, just the press 1 campaign. Um, the opt-in file name to be played is optional. What, what this means is if you don't want the caller or the recipient of the call to be able to press 1 to go to an agent, you can press. Uh, they can press 1 and you can upload another message to be played after they've pressed 1. So, for instance, if you had a message going up that says uh, we have... Uh, great widgets and services. For more information, press 1. They press 1, and then it plays a pre-recorded message that gives them more information about their widgets and services. 
Otherwise, you can simply uh, skip that and just leave it to where it says select value. And if they press one, you have uh, really two options here. You can have it go to, uh, in this box here, it says opt-in extension to be transferred after file uh, opt-in file name. Now, the two options you have is 90001, so 90001. If you put in 90001, that'll send them to an agent who's logged in to the agent interface. So if they're logged into a computer on the agent interface and you put in this extension in here, then what will happen is when they press 1, it will send them to one of those agents who are available waiting for a call. Otherwise, you can simply put in a telephone number if you don't want them to, to, to go to a, an agent that's logged into the system, you can have them go to an external number. So for instance, if you have uh, uh, 10 agents who are all on telephone numbers or telephones and you've got a hunt group set up for them, so you've got one incoming number for 10 of your agents and it'll just keep hunting to find the next available agent. That one telephone number that's set up with the hunt group you can put in this box. Now you have to put in the correct dial prefix. In most cases it'll be 91 and then area code and number. So now when I do this, what will happen is on campaign 101, the message, uh, the, the call will go out, someone picks up the phone, it'll play this message. If they press 1, the system will automatically patch them through to this number, which is what I put in this box here. Now of course, uh, the next step I have the DNC key. In most cases, People will use two, but you can use any number that you'd like for the DNC, whether it's eight, nine, or whatever number you choose between one and nine. So we're going to use the two here in this case. And then you have a third and final option for your customer. It is optional, uh, but for the voicemail key. So you can have a message that says uh, press one to speak to an agent. Press uh, two, for instance, if you'd like to leave your information for an agent to call back, call you back or you can press 3 to remove from the list, in which case the DNC would be a 3. So we're going to use voicemail key as 2, and the voicemail extension you would have already set up, of course, before your, your campaign went live, but you can use any extension that you'd like to set up for your voicemail. So for instance, if we use 200, we set up uh, extension 200 and free PBX, we record a voicemail for that, and so whenever they press 2 to leave a message, They'll hear the message that was pre-recorded for the 200 extension, and then they'd get to leave their, their information from there. So once we've done completing this, we simply hit Add. And it'll be done. It'll be completed here, and you'll be able to scroll down at the bottom, and you'll see all of your result lists for the your advanced campaigns for your Press 1. So you've got Campaign 101. The file name is this right here. The opt-in key is 1. The opt-in file name is non-existent here because it's not relevant. The opt-in extension or the extension or number that will be dialed or called when someone presses 1 is here. The DNC is 3 and the voicemail key is 2. So this is the second part of creating a press 1 campaign.